Hello and welcome to video 3 in Embolden's video tutorial project. In this video we're going to be going over some of the terminology that you'll encounter in DNN and talking about the common components and elements that make up most of the pages on your website. Um, your website is going to, every page is going to have a skin um, and the skin is basically all of this stuff, it's basically everything on the page. Um, there's going to be certain things that you can edit and certain things that you can't. For example, in this skin, all of this stuff up here in the header, this is written into the skin. It's what's called hard coded. So if if this were if you were Kalamazoo and this were actually your site and not our demo, and you wanted to change what's in these header links up here, um, that's something Embolden would need to do for you. Um, same thing with the stuff down in the footer here. Um, if you wanted to change any of this, we could certainly change that for you. Um, all of this navigation here is dynamically generated. So if you add a new page to the site under About Us, it's automatically going to be in this dropdown uh, unless you specify otherwise. And we'll get into that when we talk about adding pages to the site. Um, you can control where things live in here, but you don't need to edit your navigation separately. You don't need to create a page and then go into some uh, navigation snippet or control panel to add the page to your navigation. Um, so the navigation, this is your main navigation, it's dynamically generated. And what we'll see at the very top of the page is you have what's called your control panel that you will only see when you are logged in. And only if you're logged in as somebody with permission to actually edit that page. Um, there's three main sections of it. The page functions over here, which we'll go over in a video when we talk about adding pages and page settings. The module functions here, which again we'll go over in a video when we talk about adding modules. And this common tasks, which is full of stuff that I have because I am logged in as the web hosting account, you would not have access to most of this. Um, if the control panel is annoying you, you can always hide it if you find it's getting in your way. Um, every time you go to a new page, it's going to drop back down. So if it's really annoying you, you can click this thumbtack button and it will tack the panel up out of your way. If we scroll down the page a little bit, we will see these dotted gray lines. They're called panes. Um, these outlines that are essentially layout terms. A pane is a layout term for where you can put stuff. Um, again, if you wanted to put something up here in the header, you would not be able to do that. There's no pane up here. Um, there's nowhere for you to put anything and Bolden would need to do that for you. If you uh, wanted to put something down in the footer or off to the side here, again, there aren't, aren't panes. So a pane is a term for a section of the page where you can put things. Panes tend to hold one or more modules. Uh, sometimes they have no modules. They could be empty. Uh, but a pane generally holds one or more modules, and these are modules here. Modules are little mini programs that live in your content management system and help you manage and display different types of content. So the most common module that we'll be talking about a lot over the course of these tutorials is the content manager module, which we, you will use for general editing text, adding some basic images and that sort of thing. Uh, but this here is a, is a slideshow module. We have calendar modules, um, we have news modules like these down here that you have a database of news articles and this article list module will pull the appropriate, um, the appropriate news items and build this list for you automatically um, and it has an RSS feed and some things like that. So the, the whole concept is a module is a little program uh, that can live in a pane on your page and and hold your content and allows you to edit your content. Um, most modules have a drop down at the top where you can get into the module settings or access different functions. So if you wanted to edit uh, your slideshow, you would choose control panel here. Or most modules also have a link at the bottom of the module that will also get you into the editor for that module. So if I choose control panel up here, or I click control panel here, they're both going to bring me to the same place, to the control panel for this module. Um, same thing down here, the edit content link for a content manager module um, in the drop down, the edit content selection, or this edit content link down here, both bring me into the editor for this content manager module. Um, so you'll have panes on your page, in your panes you will have modules and all of those live within the larger skin for the whole page. Um, and there's one other term that we're not going to see here and that is container and a container is a special mini 
template for one specific module and we will have a whole separate video all about working with containers. Uh, but those are the basic terms you're going to run into over and over through this whole module. You're going to, you're going to hear us uh, through this whole tutorial and you'll hear us talk about the control panel, getting into your page settings, going into settings for a specific module. You'll hear us talk about putting things in different panes, adding modules to panes, moving modules from one pane to the other and that sort of thing. So these are the terms that we will be talking about over and over and over again throughout the course of this tutorial. Next up, we're going to talk about preview and design modes. Basically, how can we look at a page without all of this stuff? Um, and then soon we will be getting ready to actually start doing some basic content editing.